All right, everybody, Doc Green. So far, we've made it through a lot of this course. Only got a couple of more things to discuss. One is getting a virtual office, getting a Dun and Brad Street number, and start building your business credit. Virtual office. Why do I need an office space? Well, here's how D and B works. Dun and Brad Street is a company that's been around for over a hundred years, and they record credit for businesses. And in doing so, and getting your information, everything you put your information in, they also use a picture of your business. And you don't submit that picture. They get that off Google Maps. So if you're using your home address and everything, and someone looks up your, and anyone can look this up, this isn't protected like your personal credit. Anyone can look this information up if they're willing to buy it from Dun & Bradstreet. So when you're ready to um, look for a line of credit and everything, and you put your address down there and everything, and, it, and it's just, they go in there and, they look at Dun & Bradstreet and the Dun & Bradstreet D&B number pops up. It shows a picture of your business. And if you live in your house, it's going to show a picture of your house. Well, lenders are less likely to lend you a substantial amount of money if you're running a business out of your house. It just doesn't look legitimate. It doesn't look like you've been in business long enough. It, it, a lot of problems there. So it looks better if you're running out of an office building, a warehouse, like a trucking. Where, right, we're, we run a warehouse. That's what we do. And so you can buy. But... Let's be realistic. We're truck drivers. Most of us don't need an office space. So we can get what they call a virtual office. You go online, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this next video right here. And we're going to get started so you can learn how to get a virtual office. It will show up as your address, whatever someone looks at your DNB number, and you're trying to establish business credit, and it will help you out a whole lot. We'll also look at the different services they offer. Some offer mail services where you can get mail at that address. They'll scan it to you. Uh, open your letters, scan it, send it right to you. You have to fit all the form for that. And some of them over offer um, mail and a live reception. So if you put your phone number on there, live receptionist can answer it, take your notes and everything, and send those and send that information to you also. Um, and there's even some that will you can have an actual meeting room to use every once in a while. But these are all the options you can look at and everything. And we'll go over some of that once we get into the next video. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you at the end. Okay, today, guys, we're going to show you how to set up a virtual office for to help build your credit and everything. You don't want people knowing you're working out of your house, and when you do a Dun & Bradstreet number, they'd usually get a picture of your address, so if it's your house, that's what's show up when you're trying to get credit. Anyway, we'll go down here. If you notice, these ads are what we are looking for this time. These are really reputable companies and everything, so you can click on those. And most time I tell you to skip over the ads because they're trying to charge you money for stuff you can do for free. On these, however, you will want to look at some of the companies. Anyway, we're going to go down here. These are some of the ones in my area. Office space for rent in Dallas. Regis US is a really strong company. They are known for virtual offices. So you can click on here and see what they have to offer. Now, what you do want to be careful of is a lot of people are using these same addresses. Uh, Regis is a very popular company. So you can look up a lot of different companies uh, trying to get credit and everything, or, or even on Dun, Dun & Brad Street, and you'll notice same addresses for th hundreds and hundreds of companies. Another thing you want to be careful of is, see this one be okay, but some of these are too fancy really for what we do. Logistics, they're not going to believe a logistics company is in some of these buildings. So you want to go through there. You also want to be checking the prices and looking at how much they cost. Um, see this one, for instance, the trucking company would not be in there. Or these. Uh, and Regis is more geared towards high-end, like attorneys, architects, uh, things, you know, high-end service businesses. So, now this one's a good one. This one right here might work. We'll scan down through here, see what else we have. Okay, but then number page two, they, these give you the options of what, uh, what else they have to rent, what all you can, like office space, web space, business lounge, virtual offices. Um, the new co-working thing, these don't really pertain to us unless you actually want an office space or you do want to meet some clients sometime or something like that. Like me and my trucking company, I also do these courses, so I may want to meet with some students or something. I may want to use a meeting room or something, so I might be able to click on some of these and use some of these services. Um, who's using Regis? Just to give you an idea, some of the big companies, LinkedIn, Signa. It's companies who don't have a permanent need for a permanent office space, much like us. 
uh, in trucking, but still want you know need a business address. So that's who's using these. I'm going to back up here a little bit. Show you another little feature. So you can look at some of these. Now, see, my company, our, our companies might look good in these businesses, but not a high rise in the middle of downtown Dallas or anything. These are look more like where we'd be located, where we may have our office headquarters out of. So that's what I would be looking at. Looking at the prices also, you don't want to be overpaying. Remember, we're not really setting up offices. Um, so be sure and check the prices and everything. Now from over here, you can also go into the area you live in. Me, I live in Garland, so I'll zoom in on that. And go up here, and these are the ones that are in Garland, the closest to where I am. And I'll just see if any of these will fit my purposes or needs. Uh, possibly that one, the fire wheel, maybe, maybe not. Mm, not really seeing these that I like. Um, now again, Regis is a big company, and they have good you know, good reputation and everything. Uh, but anyway, you'd fill out this form right here and they'd get back with you and y'all could work out. They want to know what kind of business, they want to make sure you're not running some porn shop or something <laughs> and using their business address. So they're going to check with you and make sure y'all are compatible. Now from here, we'll go down here. There's some other cheaper ones you can use. Um, here's some virtual offices in Dallas, Texas pictures. Um, and again, see these are higher. Now to see the second one, this one right here I might be able to use. It's $50 a month. Uh, hold on, they're trying to get some information from me. Uh, click that out. Anyway, $50 a month is not bad, but they usually come with a $100 setup fee. So your first one's going to be about $100, $150 anyway. But I'll scroll down here, see which ones I like. Uh, really kind of only like this one, Dallas Parkway. Let's see what we got here. And these are the plans starting off. Um, now that you get $50 for just, but they will open your mail, look at your mail and everything, scan it to you. Uh, this has got a live receptionist with it. It's for $135, answer your phones. The $385 and $471, I mean, if you really need a real office or something, these might be okay pricing for you. I don't need this. And if I did, I'd probably go with Novell in downtown Dallas, get an office for $400. But I'd probably just start off with the $50 one, maybe the $135 with the live receptionist. Let's see what else we got here. But this is how easy it is. You just look up virtual offices and you put it in the city and it'll bring up the ones, or the city you're nearest and it'll bring up the ones that are in your area. And here we go. Uh, these are all the services that are included here. For $99 a month, that's a pretty, very good deal, actually. Wow, really good deal. But I'm pretty sure it's going to have a $100 setup fee, so my first bill will probably be about $200. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and take you all through a form real quick to show you just how easy it is to get one of these things. You go down here. Here we go. Full name, that would be the name of the manager on your LLC. So I'll put in there John A. Doe, use the same example we've been using. Uh, company name, Widget Transport, we'll use that one because that's one we've been using in all the other examples. Just kind of give you an idea of how easy this is. And this will give you your business phone number. Uh, this will give you your business address with it, someone answering your phone and everything. Because whenever the lenders look up your business address to, uh, done in Bradstreet, a lot of times your picture of your address shows up. So if you're running out of your home and you're using that address, then the picture of your home is going to show up. And people aren't going to really take you seriously. Lenders aren't going to take you seriously, you know, especially fleet card, uh, the bigger vendors. Now, the vendors at first may they give you credit because, I mean, they're just, you know, they're on 30-day net and everything. But when you try to get, like... There we go. I'll pick the state I'm from. And then pick the city. But whenever you're trying to uh, establish real credit to get loans and bank credit and everything, and I'll explain what all that is later, but you're going to need a something different than a picture of your house or, you know, for your business address. They want to make sure they're working with a real legitimate company. And again, you treat yourself like you're a company. You treat your business like it's a business instead of a a hobby or instead of something that you know you're trying to get over on somebody treat it like a business operate it like a business and your business will pay off for you all right and down here you get to pick your own phone number with some of these companies and another feature that you might want to look at let me continue over here 
Uh, get two numbers. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, two numbers. No, nope, they're only going to let me pick one on this one. So, they'll go back up here and pick the original number. Continue. And then your next step would be the features that you get. So this tells you everything you're going to be getting. Now you can pay extra for a couple of other features, like one I like. These are the features you get. This is actually a lot of features for only $100. That's a pretty good deal. But down here you can see we have a, this one I like. So if I want to make phone calls out to some of my clients or anything, I can use this one where even though I'm using my cell phone, it's going to show up as my business phone. And that way my client, you know, students of mine aren't getting my personal cell phone number because I may be sleeping at night, you know, after driving the truck all day. And I don't want people waking me up all night long. So they'll get my receptionist to take their notes and everything. And I'll get back with them as soon as I can, usually through email or text message. But if I do have to call them direct, I want to use that service right there. That way, my f the phone number I release from them shows up as my phone number when I'm calling someone. And that's a really good service to have. And international, no, don't see much use for that. Some of these, other, no, really don't see any use for any of the rest of these. So, let me go over here to continue. I mean, this is really a very easy way to set up a business. Summary billing information. So, right now... This is the page where you start putting in your billing information, your credit card information, everything. And then it takes about 10 minutes. You send it off to them, and they approve you and send you back. Now, down here, usually you have a legal agreement. Where is that at? A legal agreement is, you know, letting you know that there you go. It's letting you know how long, you know, you need to give them notice for uh, stop using their service or something like that. And they let you know the month to month and your, your bills and everything and how it works out. So you want to read over that. They may send you one after you submit your paperwork and everything. But this is basically how it all works. All right. And that's how you find your virtual office.